Drugs ruining lives. Now, I am not condoning drug use in any way. Just discussing it. Now, as much as it can ruin lives, change who people are, and destroy goodness in families, I will not judge anyone for their drug use, as nobody knows exactly what goes on in the mind of someone else and how hard things are for them. So many use drugs to escape the realities of a life they hate or feel they can't cope with. So many use it as a way to deal with devastating depressions, terrible tragedies, powerful pains. To try and numb the feeling of it all, escape the crushing gravity of it all that drains them of all energy and light, pulls them down so far into darkness and cripples them. Yes, there are healthier ways to deal with such things like meditation, fitness and working out, religion and spirituality, even seeking professional help, and I loathe to say medication, as consuming addictions can grow from prescribed medicine too. Now I don't blame anyone for not finding a healthier way to deal with stuff instead of losing self in drugs, as it is seen as the easy way, a quick escape, and when someone is down so far, the lowest rung of the dangling ladder is what it is grabbed for. I spent a few years using party drugs to escape reality and with hope I would overdose and die, but they were never more than a weekend thing for me, which is all I could afford back then in my roof tiling apprentice days. I spent the majority of my twenties high, smoking weed, and I know it isn't much compared to harder drugs, but it held my life back, my health, physically and mentally, my finances, and it was an escape from having to deal, well a little anyway, as it numbed the brain a bit as I would smoke far too much to try and shut my head up, would fry it for the sake of peace. But I've thankfully been drug free for about a year now, as I was meant to be moving to America to live with the girlfriend at the time, and I wanted to be in better shape, physically and mentally. So I gave drugs up, and although we broke up right before I was going to move there, I haven't touched drugs since. I have known a fair few people whose lives have been destroyed by their drug use, which was from them trying to escape pain, and as tough as they looked to be, they just couldn't handle the harsh reality that, and needed that escape. I see friends with so much potential, so much beauty and spark, and they lose it all, or at least bury it all under the effects of drug use. <sighs> friends have killed themselves because they just couldn't handle it any longer, and they needed the final escape. Or, needed, or ended up needing so many drugs to numb the pain as tolerance to drug effects build up and they just ended up dropping dead from it. Of course there are others who just get into drugs for a bit of fun with friends and end up developing an addiction because their personality is built that way and they have an addictive personality and they too find themselves ruining their life, losing good people that loved and cared about them, even losing their own life. Good honest people become criminals, starting by stealing from family and friends to pay for their addiction and spiralling into much worse crime just to feed the need. So much of the drugs being used is mixed with dangerous chemicals and even poisons that end up frying people's brains permanently and killing so many because it is all they can afford to get, plus it is easily made and very available these days, even in small country towns. I don't know how to stop this rampant problem, as no matter how many drug shipments are stopped, drug dealers and smugglers locked up, new laws brought in and toughened up, there will always be cheap, low quality drugs being made and sold on the streets and out of homes, in our countries, our cities and our country towns, as there will always be a need for it. Some things that can make a small difference, but just might make the important difference in some lives a better spread of information to youth about the repercussions of it all, more and better available counselling services on a widespread scale for the young and the old to help deal with problems before they grow to such a bad stage. I know so many don't want to talk to anyone, want to keep it to themselves and their friends they do the drugs with, but there will be some that open up to the help of professional talking and that will be some lives saved. The same goes with family. I know most troubled teens, teens in general, won't open up and talk to family, but some will. 
It even needs to start at a much earlier age. The help and communication happening, as there can be problems developed as a young kid, like depression and similar stuff, that might not be noticed or thought of as much until it has snowballed by the time they are older like it did with me. There's not too much that can be done about keeping people from falling in with the wrong crowds. Yes, you can be tight as parents and keep kids as good as possible and away from bad stuff and bad influences. That just makes some of the good ones want that lifestyle even more and fall into it deeper when they get freedom as they get older. I've known a few really well brought up people who were straight edge, goody goody, who once got some freedom have been old enough to do more of what they wanted they fell into the drug life and completely lost themselves to it. I knew one person who was so good, always reading books and listening to parents, and she ended up dating a junkie and becoming one herself and just ruining her life. So sad. I guess another problem solver that would help, that would help some, is rehab being much cheaper and more of them available. Something that is at least decently funded so people can get the proper help they deserve and teachings in there to make sure they don't relapse right back into the hole when they are back out in the world, doing it on their own again. Support networks are so important too, although not everyone is so lucky as to have the support that is understanding, loving, strong and reliable. Even some with all the help in the world, all the healthy alternatives, support, Everything they need to survive and beat the battle can lose out and still end up taking their own life or losing self to drugs. But with continued improved knowledge, understanding and support avenues, there can be more lives saved, even, even if only a few more each year, which is more than worth it. Especially if you imagine that life being saved is someone you love or care about. Imagine if it is the future of one of your kids being saved ahead of time. We all want to think, no, I won't let it happen to me or my kids or someone I care about, but it's better to have the measures in place, better support and health systems for the good of all, just in case. It is a scary world, yes, even more so for our kids to be growing up in, but wrapping them in cotton wool to protect them can do more harm than good, so it is up to us to make the world less dangerous for them, for everyone. We can do it. We can save lives.